What's up, folks? Okay, from scratch, I'm going to teach you guys how to install Half-Life Advanced Effects, okay? You can do it two ways. You can do it manually, or you can use the setup file. Uh, I'll show you both. All right, let's get started. First things first, we'll go to advancedeffects.org, okay? Throw that in your browser. We're going to scroll on over to download, and then we're going to come down here, and we want the latest one here. So we're going to click on that. All right, it's going to bring us over to the GitHub. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the zip file first. We'll do the setup next, okay? So we come down here to this first link, click on it, okay? And then, um, yeah, we'll just save it to our desktop. Okay, next thing you want to do is you actually want to extract this, okay? Because a big problem that people have is they try to run Half-Life Advanced Effects from the, the RAR or the zip, and you actually need to extract the folder in order for it to work properly, okay? So that's, that's fix number one if you're having problems running this program okay now uh, like I said fix number two don't run it from your desktop I've seen people have problems with that as well okay okay so let's go into our PC and uh, and here you know what? we're gonna throw it into uh, a folder called little shit uh, I don't remember why I named it that I think it's an inside joke but I couldn't tell you what that inside joke is so let's just pretend it's a normal name Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the RAR, we're going to just drop it in there, okay? And then you're going to right click and you're going to extract to the name of the folder, okay? You might have WinZip or 7-Zip, uh, same process, just right click and extract the folder outside of the, uh, the zip, okay? All right, we can toss that. All right, now. It's basically installed at this point, okay? But we're going to go through the motions anyway. I'm going to double click on it. And then you're going to have all of these folders that hook into Counter-Strike. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and we're going to find the XE and we're going to double click it. Okay, great. This is the, uh, this is the main menu here for the, uh, the program. It's pretty simple from here. There's not a lot to do. Uh, basically, just go to File. And then what we want to do is we're playing Counter-Strike Go. You can also hook into uh, 1.6. Counter-Strike 1.6, uh, that's the gold source engine. But right now we're launching into the source engine, which is CSGO, so we'll click that. All right, cool, so now you have this menu, right? This menu just popped up. All right, so first things first is we need to fill in this spot here. We need to find where the CSGO.exe file is. So we're gonna click Browse. It's pretty easy, just wanna find your Steam folder. That's where your CSGO.exe is, so it's gonna be Steam, and then uh, Steam Apps and then common, and then Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and then there's your CSGO.exe, okay? Now that we have that, uh, the next option that we have is uh, you can actually make a movie making config parent folder, okay? And now you may be asking what this is. Okay, so a movie making config parent folder, it basically, what it does is it creates a subfolder that allows you to put a movie making config in so it doesn't mess with your normal settings. Okay, so say you're a Counter-Strike player, right? You like to play the game along with making movies for it. Well, what you do is you enable this and then you can browse and set your movie making parent folder so that when you go to edit movies and you go to cap movies, you can use a separate config so it doesn't mess with your gaming config, okay? So they, they, they create two separate configs for you to use so they don't dilute each other and, and mess up each other, okay? All right, so this is pretty important. I personally don't use it because I don't really play Counter-Strike. Uh, it's been a while, actually. So what we then do is we come down here, okay? Now, graphic resolution. Okay, this is kind of cool. You can force a resolution on Counter-Strike. 1920 by 1080 is the normal, right? That's HD. Well, you can actually change it. Like, for instance, if you want to use CinemaScope, you can change the height to 816, and there you have that. Or we can change it to 960. You can do whatever you want, you know? It's it's kind of cool, it, it really helps. Now, if you disable that, it's gonna use whatever Counter-Strike launches as, okay? So if uh, whatever you set in Counter-Strike, that's your resolution, okay? I always keep this enabled. This over here, full screen, pretty self-explanatory. If you click it, it's gonna launch the game in full screen. If you don't click it, it's launched the game in window mode, okay? And then down here are all custom lines, okay? If you're actually just doing normal stuff, then you don't really need to put anything in here, okay? Half-Life Advanced Effects launches in Insecure already. Uh, window mode can be controlled up here. The width resolution and the height resolution is controlled here. A lot of the stuff is all controlled by options uh, that we already covered. So. The only thing that I put in is uh, 
dash console, okay? And then right here, remember my changes, it's so you don't have to put these in every time, okay? All right, cool. All right, let's move on from that. Status bar, this basically just shows that your version is up to date. And we just downloaded the latest one, so it is, okay? Now, tools, you can calculate file size, which I think is pretty cool. So say we're doing 1920 by 1080 and we are, uh, we're, and we're recording at 600 FPS, which is a pretty basic thing that I do. All right, and the clip is gonna be 10 seconds long. Well, it looks like it's going to be 34 gigs. Okay, now say we uh, are using a lossless codec and it's HuffYuv or HuffYuv, okay? Well, we click on that and it looks like a 10 second clip will now be 13 gigs large, okay? So this is a pretty cool tool. This will help you decide how long your movie will be if you wanna go through and, uh, and see how much space you need, okay? All right, these next things, not very useful. Color lookup tables, I don't use. Gold source, we're not doing that because we're doing CSGO. And then developer, this is actually the next thing that is pretty useful for people. We're not gonna cover that in today's tutorial because this is a more advanced thing, but this can be used for uh, modded programs. So uh, Midgey or Miggy, however you wanna call it, end skins, those things will be uh, set up here, okay? And uh, maybe I'll cover those in a later tutorial. Uh, comment down below if you want me to do that. Okay, help, check for updates. You can check now, or you can just set auto check, auto check, just keep it on, okay? And then you can also donate to those fine people. If you click on it, it'll take you to the donor page and you can donate to the Half-Life Advance FX team. <gasps> Where am I? I donated before, oh, it's here. All right, cool, so that pretty much covers that. That, that covers uh, the manual installation of Half-Life Advance Effects, okay? Now let's go over how you can automatically set up Half-Life Advance Effects through a program, through, uh, through an installation process, okay? And I'll show you right now. Okay, so same thing, we're gonna go back to that GitHub page that we were just at, okay? And now we're gonna go and we're gonna click on Half-Life Advance Effects setup.exe, okay? And we'll save it to desktop. As you see here, we now have a different file. Instead of a RAR, instead of a zip file, we now have an exe, okay? So double click it. All right, cool. So self-explanatory, just go through all of the things. All right, so three options here. Uh, <clears throat> they're not very much different from each other. They're all gonna install FFmpeg for you, which is really helpful if you want to record straight to AVIs instead of having to deal with TGAs, okay? Custom, not very different from the other two. There are very minor things that you can turn on and off during the installation process. Not really necessary in my opinion, especially if you're just a newcomer and you're watching this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just click typical. That's probably the one you want, okay? It's going to install FFmpeg and FFmpeg is a program, like I said, that encodes video, okay? So it takes the TGAs, encodes it to an AVI, directly onto your computer. And I actually have a tutorial that teaches you how to do that, how to set that up. So link down below if you want to watch that. Okay, so we're gonna click next, okay? And then we're gonna click install, and then we're just gonna sit here and watch it install. Okay, so once it gets done installing, what we wanna do is we wanna navigate over to our program files, right? And it actually installs in our program files, okay? So click on Half-Life Advanced Effects, and as you can see, here are all the files. Now, if you did the manual way, all of these files are the same exact thing, except Half-Life Advanced Effects sort of stored them for us, okay? All right, and then you click on the XC, same exact thing like we went over prior. All of these things are all the same. Nothing is really different. Uh, the most important thing is that Half Advance FX installed FFmpeg for us. So we don't have to do that manually. But like I said, I can teach you how to do that if you don't know how to install it. Link down below on how to install FFmpeg manually. One last thing before we go, really important thing. Half-Life Advance FX does not like foreign characters. And by foreign letters, I mean this, okay? It doesn't like things with accents or uh, these upside down characters or these, these characters here. It, it Basically, this entire list that you see here, it doesn't like, okay? So make sure your folders that you're storing Half-Life Advanced Effects in have the English alphabet in it, okay? It can't have a non-English alphabet, unfortunately. So make sure you change any letters that might have these in them two more English letters, okay? And then you should be good to go. If you have any questions, ask down below, or you can join my Discord channel where I provide live help directly from myself, okay? Make sure you check that out, and I hope to see you there. Until next time.